Hello, I am Dr. Deep Dutta. I am an endocrinologist practicing at the Venkateshwar Hospitals and the Sata Super Specialty Clinics situated in Dwarka, New Delhi. We are here to discuss a very interesting topic. Can we reverse diabetes? Can insulin be stopped in a patient of diabetes or insulin? Can the tablets which a patient of diabetes is taking can be stopped? The answer is yes, but not in all. So we should know where we can do this. What are the scenarios we can stop all the medications of diabetes and reverse diabetes? It has to be individualized. We must realize the problem of diabetes in India is very scary. 9 to 10 percent Indians have diabetes. That's like 1 in 10 individuals. You add to it another 15 percent have pre-diabetes, which is something called the borderline glucose. Any blood glucose in the fasting state less than 100 is normal. 100 to 125 is pre-diabetes. More than 125 is frank diabetes. When we talk of 2 hours post meal blood glucose values, anything less than 140 is normal. 140 to 200 milligrams per deciliter is pre-diabetes. More than 200 is diabetes. So coming back to the pertinent question, reversal of diabetes. We must look at the nature of the patient the profile of the patient as a whole. If a patient of diabetes is lean and thin, let me tell you that's a more difficult form of diabetes to manage. Such patients tend to need larger number of medications, more tablets, they'll sooner need insulin for control of their blood glucose. This is because in the lean individuals as Generally, there is a defect in insulin production. If there is no insulin in the body, we have to give insulin from outside to control blood glucose. A classical form of this diabetes is what we call the type 1 diabetes which we see in children where only insulin works and nothing. And any experiments or adventures of stopping insulin and going for any traditional form of therapy can be life threatening for that individual. It may increase the level of acids in the blood of the patient, something we call the diabetic ketoacidosis and which is a life-threatening condition. So we are not talking of those patients in terms of reversal of diabetes. We are looking at the other spectrum where the majority of the diabetes patients are a fat obese diabetes individual. In these patients, the problem lies not in insulin being formed in the body. The problem is the body has become lazy. The body has stopped responding to insulin. What we call in medical terms, insulin resistance. So if we can break this resistance, the insulin which is formed in my body will now work better. And hola, we can stop insulin in a patient on tablets. We can even stop tablets. So what are the key points? What is going to help us? So in an overweight or obese individual, it is very important to lose body weight. If I'm lazy, if I'm not going for a walk, my whole system becomes lazy and my body stops responding to the natural hormones, which is insulin. So rule number one, every diabetic individual should go for a walk. I tell my patients, we have modern gadgets, such beautiful smartphones. Install a pedometer app in your phone. Walk 10,000 steps a day. How you walk, where you walk, when you walk is of no importance. Walk in the office. Walk while going to the office. Walk while going to the market, take a longer route. Walk with your spouse. Walk with your kids. Walk before meals or walk after dinner. Whatever is your lifestyle, from waking up in the morning to going to bed, walk 10,000 steps at least a day. In the large majority of, your, of our patients, we can reduce the diabetes medication simply by this. 
Next is diet. Control what you eat. Nobody is asking you to starve. Eat healthy food. Eat tasty food. Control the carbs. Check your amount of breads you are taking, the chapatis you are taking, the rice you are taking. They are starch. We Indians love our starch. We don't think our meal is complete without starch. Stay away from potatoes. Potatoes was brought to this subcontinent by the Portuguese 350 years old back. Eating starch with starch makes no sense. Rice with potatoes. Chapatis with potatoes. Starch with starch makes no sense. Blood glucose goes up. Increase the proteins amount in your diet. If you are a vegetarian, increase the amount of pulses. Increase the amount of paneer, the milk, the yogurt. If you are a non-vegetarian, increase the amount of egg proteins, increase the amount of fish, excellent source of protein. You can eat chicken, try to avoid red meat. And meet your endocrinologist. Whatever I have told you is a general advice. You have to have a specific diet plan based on your current body weight and your target body weight. We have so many dietary fats going on around the Atkins diet, the keto diet. You can choose whatever diet you want. It's important to be able to continue that diet over long run. If you are not able to sustain a diet plan for long run, don't go for it. Again, I'm highlighting eat tasty food, eat good looking food, eat the right food, Take lots of proteins, remove carbs from your diets. Sugars are the big killer. It is the sugar industry which is driving the diabetes epidemic. Stay away from sugary drinks. Don't add sugar to your tea and coffees. If you can cut off sugar from your diet, 90% of your problems is taken care of both with managing diabetes and weight loss. Avoid sugary fruits like bananas, mangoes, chikus, or for the matter, grapes. No juices, please. When we take juice, we are taking the sugar out of the fruit. The same fruit, when we chew and take the fruit fiber, helps in lowering blood glucose. It has some other lots of health benefits. So, yes, coming back to the primary question. Can we reverse diabetes? The answer is yes in an obese, overweight diabetes. So how much body weight should I lose? Let's come to the hard numbers, the key points. So before that we should know what should be my ideal body weight. Very simple maths. Whatever my height is in centimeter, if I subtract 110 from E, I'll get the ideal body weight. My height is 174 centimeter. So my weight should be, if I subtract 110 from it, it should be 64 kilograms. That's the ideal weight. If I am able to come back to my ideal weight, I will not develop diabetes. If I have diabetes, I can totally reverse it. So we should look at our baseline body weight and my target body weight. There is no published clear-cut medical literature. You can check it on the Google. It's published in a well-reputed journal, The Lancet, where they showed patients of type 2 diabetes on medications for 5 to 7 years. When they were made to lose weight, people who lost 15 kilos body weight and more, there was an 80% reversal of diabetes. And by reversal of diabetes, we mean no diabetes medications were needed for at least three months. And the HbA1c was normal. The three-month blood glucose average HbA1c, it was less than 6.5. Now the response is graded. People who lost weight between 15 to 10 kilos, there was a 60% reversal of diabetes. People who lost weight between 5 to 10 kilos, they had nearly 40% reversal of diabetes. And people who lost weight only till 5 kilos, they had around 30% reversal of diabetes. So what do we see here? 
in an overweight obese diabetic individual i would say don't be depressed don't think my body weight is so high it's a golden opportunity to you given by god get rid of the extra body weight and you are free of all your diabetes medications you are off insulin you are off oral medications let me tell you there are wonderful medications available for which is going to assist us in weight loss nothing works let me tell you without the walk how when and where i have told you it's your choice you decide for yourself nothing works without a good healthy diet go for a healthy diet a tasty diet you should not starve take more proteins more fibers take sprouts you can add whatever spices you want to add to it and it should be good looking and you should enjoy your meal only then it can be sustained for a long time another key point very important we know have a healthy large breakfast a moderate lunch you may stop or even avoid dinner have a early dinner by 6 or 7 in the evening we indians tend to eat late only after 8 or 9 we should remember if we have a heavy dinner we are going to sleep after a few hours the body doesn't know what to do with the food so all of it is stored in our abdomen we develop central obesity that is the single biggest marker of future risk of diabetes heart disease cholesterol problems get rid of your tummy walk eat healthy eat early take lots of proteins and fibers in your diet get rid of the extra weight meet your endocrinologist the nearest to your home discuss with him what are the medications which are available for weight loss we have wonderful oral medications as well as, as well as injections which is going to assist us in losing weight these medications are taken only for a short period of time we should move away from the negative cycle of weight gain and enter the positive cycle of weight loss the more body weight we lose the more energy levels we have and the positive lifestyle cycle actually we build on it and trust me if you are able to do it your family member will be able to do it the positive vibes will run off to your friends you are doing a great social service so yes if you are overweight and obese diabetes you can reverse not only your diabetes you can reverse the diabetes of your family members of your society of your friends and peers thank you so much for any further queries you can write to me at deepdata2000 at yahoo.com let me repeat d w e p d u w t a 2000 at the rate of yahoo.com thank you so much